my fucking god, Zimbad. You are a fucking beast right now. You fucking dirty fucker has pulled a fast one on the Co Empire. Uh, to be honest, I think this is the best freaking Maggie chapter we've had of this whole little election. I just seeing the stuff what we found out in this chapter was just so interesting and just that ending oh my god like Sinbad oh you boys <laughs> this guy he cannot be trusted so we go over the chapter like Morgiana asks you know why is Mu here like at the start he's saying well the pa their power has dwindled since Shahrazade has died and compared to Sinjali and Co they're just the third power now and which they side they choose is going to bring out the biggest world war will begin the second that these guys choose a side that war will begin. I'm like, oh my god, are we now getting into like this crazy war now after just getting out of Magnusat? So maybe that's what this whole war thing is, is that we're going to have sides being chosen now, going to have some crazy shit going on. And the truth is, like with the Great Rift is something as well that Mu wanted to talk about. And just hearing about this was just so interesting from when he, he actually went there before, before Margiana played around about her age. And he... When he ran there, he met Yunnan, and Yunnan gave him the uh, same warning, but he completely ignored it. He was running for days on end without food or anything. He got to a point where he had no skin left on his feet. And this is Thanos. They're pretty strong motherfuckers. And they're up to the point of passing out. And then she comes out and he starts, like, filling with Magoi, and he starts turning and becomes a strange crimson-like beast. And when you see the Thanos homeland, it is filled with these humanoid monster beasts. Beast Warriors, and I'm like, all this time, these guys, the reason for their crazy ass strength is because they're pretty much like werewolves in a way. Like, they, these crazy, crazy beast ass monsters that are pretty much been hiding in a human form all this time. And when he was saying that, he felt like he was free, that his chains were broken. And you know how Morgiana is, she's so entrapped all her life. And this is sort of like a huge guilt trip because. What would happen if she, like, this there? She probably would have, like, lost her mind and, like, never returned. Yunnan was uh, only able to, like, save her, um, him just with a little bit of magic. I don't think he would have done that again for Morgiana. And finding that out was just really interesting, seeing, like, will, with this, like, Morgiana, with her decision at the end of this chapter, it's like, will she ever regret ever trying to go there again? Or will she even go up to that point just to get more power? Like, because he was saying, like, oh, my body's like steel. I feel, like, powerful. I just kept running and running. He sees this entire, like, brotherhood of, like, fanalists there. And then finding out as well that his mother is Shahrazadi. That's been, I think that's been confirmed a long ass time ago. I mean, he is called Alexius, like, Shahrazadi. So it's like, yeah, no joke there that she's related to him. And then when she dies, she said, you know, I want Mu to inherit all. He said, I will inherit this night, no matter what. You know, you're a kind woman. You are doing what you want. She's saying, oh, it's disgusting how I, like, have to keep transferring to a new body, to a new body. And it's like, you don't have to do it. Like, you do that because you love your children. You do that because you love your country, because you care for everyone. But at the end, there, she had to win saying, you know, Morgiana decides. She chose not to go. Neither did any of Mu's men. And she's saying, I've got two great people on this side for me. And at the moment, just to see some people that that might be my family, that I might just turn into a wild beast. But he was saying, okay, but we're going to ally with Sinbad. But we warn you, he does not build equal relationships with people so easily. And when you see Alibaba talking and saying to him, like that, uh, um, the Kyogoku, I'm going to do this. Like, I, I had to marry the princess. And he said, that in a bad idea Alibaba and you just see Gyokuen's eyes are like possessed and it's like Sinbad you dirty fucking bastard he's like good I want you to do something and I was like Sinbad are you really pulling this right now like I, <laughs> I want to see he's probably been listening and getting some dirty ass information all this time it's, and you did that right in front of Alibaba he's got to say okay you marry into that like because he's got he hasn't got a choice now at this point He's saying, oh, that's a good idea. So you're going to marry into the co-empire. If you don't do this to Sinbad, you're out of here. Get the fuck out of there. We don't want nothing to do with you. So Alibaba is now stuck in an edge that he can't choose. He needs, like, there's no one there to make a decision for. This is all up to Alibaba. He's trapped right now. Like, where else is he going to go? Because, you know, he's got Aladdin still there. 
Oh, there was Yunnan. He's got Morgiana there. If he rejects, he's going to get fucked up by either way. So overall, I say this is the best chapter of this arc so far. Really interesting stuff. Shocked about Morgiana's like family as well. Like shocked about like just sin by dirtiness. This guy's a freaking dirty fucking motherfucker. But overall, I definitely give this chapter an eight this week. Very enjoyable. Love the stuff that was happening. I think give this chapter an eight point five this week. Very enjoyable. But let me know what you think in the comment section below about this crazy stuff. But that's all for me. I was thank them. That's the one you remember. I'll see you guys next.